Oh my goodness. I am so, so sorry. 20 minutes late. I do apologize. That was a bit of a panic. Um, hello, everybody. I'm sorry if, uh, if you actually missed um, the episode because you were waiting around and I didn't arrive. I am truly, truly sorry. If you've been hanging around, hi, Rita, hi, Minor. If you've been hanging around waiting and you're still here, thank you so much for waiting for me. I do apologize most profusely. As I said in the, in the short video that I did a minute ago, hello, Mary. Uh, I, um, I updated my operating system on my Mac yesterday and then Google Chrome was blocking access to my camera and I had to figure out how to get it back. So I'm so sorry. Thank you, Rita. Thank you for being so forgiving. Uh, my intention was certainly to be here at nine o'clock. Just didn't count on the technology blocking me, but that's okay. It's all perfect. How are we today? Um, I can take a deep breath now and stop panicking and getting all worked up about my technology. Should have been tapping, shouldn't I? So today we're going to be working on helping you to clear blocks from your energy field and limitations from your energy field. So we are only limited by our perceptions. Okay, so limits don't exist. Okay, so to a certain extent, we are bound by laws of things like laws of gravity, and there are certain laws that, um, you know, I'm not suggesting, hello, Michelle, I'm not suggesting that you run off the closest cliff and, um, and thinking that you can fly because chances are you're not going to fly unless you've got a parachute or something strapped to your back. So don't go and do anything like that. All things are possible. And if you think about it, 100 years ago or so, maybe a little bit further back than 100 years ago now, uh, that, that um, they didn't consider, oh, actually further back, because if you consider something like a balloon and a hot air balloon, they were created in Europe, I think France, um, a couple of hundred years ago. So pr prior to that, the idea of a person flying was like nuts. It was like just can't happen. Um, but with the right technology, with the right strategies, we now fly. We fly all over the world. Thousands upon tens of thousands of people, even, uh, well, maybe tens of thousands. Let's go with tens of thousands of people. Um, fly around the world every single day from one side of the world to the other. But 200 years ago, the thought of man flying was like, huh, what? Not possible. So anything is possible with the right strategies, with the right, um, with the right building blocks in place. Anything really is possible. Uh, if you think about um, Steve Jobs, I'm sure when he explained his concept of the iPhone and the smartphone, you know, 15 years ago, when he explained it to his engineers, I'm sure his engineers thought he had lost the freaking plot, but it's Steve Jobs, right? You work for Steve Jobs, do what the man says and look what they created. And it was a concept. They had no idea how they were going to create this smartphone. Um, if they did know how, then they would have got it done a lot quicker, a lot more quickly. But the concept was born and the concept ended up producing the how. So we are only limited by our imagination. All things are possible. It is our perception of what's not possible that holds us back from being all that we can possibly be. So hi, Rita, Minor, Mary, Michelle, Tanya. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me and thank you for hanging around until I finally got my techno technology sorted. So. Today, that's one of what I want to work on. And I want you to think about, um, thank you for the comments, the reactions, awesome. Um, and yeah, as you're coming in, say hi, let me know where you're coming in from because it's nice to know that I've got people here. And uh, I want you to think about life without limits for you. What does that look like? And I always encourage people not to go for the default. So, or default, depending on what you, way you want to say it. So the default for most people is, oh, big house, beautiful car, world trips, 
um, all the trappings, all the stuff, right? Now, I'm not saying that's not great. Love that stuff. That's awesome. But it's not necessarily the be all and end all, at least not for everybody. So with your life without limits, what does that look like? And remember, your life is not the future. It's not the past. It's right now. The perfect moment for you right now or anybody right now might be sitting on a beach and meditating. That could just be the perfect moment for you and the, and the, perfect, the perfect way for you to connect with your dream life. And, you know, all the stuff is nice, but it can't give you personal satisfaction and fulfillment and all the rest of it. It can give you a, a sense of enjoyment and safety and security and all that stuff. And that is a primary, they are primary human needs. Uh, but it can't necessarily give you fulfillment and satisfaction. So what does a life without limits look like to you? I want you to really connect with that before we get started so you have clarity. Remember, clarity is the first step in creating whatever it is that you want to create in your life. Now, I've had this book for forever and I have been meaning to read it for forever and I've started reading it again for the third time in six months. So it is a happy pocket full of money. Lots of rave reviews about this book. And it is um, based on quantum physics. So uh, the people who rave about this book say that it kind of puts the pieces, the missing pieces in place about the law of attraction. So I know you already know this, but I want to read it out to you anyway, because every time I'm reminded of this, it just sinks in a little bit deeper, doesn't it? So um, this is right in the beginning of the book. You already have it all. It has been said that before you ask, it was already given to you, already given to you. The universe knows what you want. Science is beginning to prove through quantum physics that, it, that this is scientifically true. It's not just woo-woo BS that is nice to believe. It's being proven through quantum physics to be scientifically true. It's going to take me forever to read this passage. The infinite intelligence and potentiality at the quantum level, the level that makes up all that is around us and our inherent abilities to influence this field is what gives us the having it all. We are beginning to know this on a larger scale, scientifically as well as spiritually. You already have riches beyond your wildest dreams. You have them. You may not be experiencing them right now, but you have them. Having and, having and experiencing are two different things. An easy way to explain it is that you have the ability to fly a plane or surf a wave or go scuba diving, but you may not have experienced this aspect of your ability. There is nothing you need to do to have this ability it is already in you. The ability is already in you. You may need to learn certain skills, but the ability is inside of you. You just need to learn the skills, right? It has already been done for you. All you need to do is experience it and allow it into your experience. So I just wanted to quickly read that to you. Hello, CJ, um, because it's not just me saying it. It's from this book, which is... Um, by David Cameron Gagandhi and uh, it's, um, it's a very, very good book. So I highly recommend it to get your head around quantum physics and to understand the internal workings of the law of attraction. Um, hello, Phyllis. Lovely to have you here. Um, so what we're going to do today is actually help to clear the limits, the limitations from your quantum field, right? Uh, which opens you up to all possibilities. We're going we're gonna to suspend disbelief for you. So, all right, I hope you've connected with what you feel and felt into Life Without Limits for you. What does Life Without Limits look like for you? So let's clear all the limiting perceptions from your quantum field so you can step into and embrace all possibilities. And before we get started, I just want to say that 
as soon as you open up to more possibilities and the potentialities that are the unborn potentialities that are just sitting and waiting. So you can go to a psychic and they will give you um, one potential outcome, right? But there are thousands of potential outcomes for you. So they're all just sitting, waiting to be realized, to be experienced. And if you um, think about um, the science behind this, and science is actually talking about multiple dimensions and the fact that we are inf actually living infinite realities at one time. It's just that we only experience one at this particular point in time and time doesn't even exist. So I know that this stuff is very, very hard to wrap your head around. Don't even try. Don't even try to understand it. Just allow it to um, just allow it to kind of filter in and integrate within your uh, your spiritual, mental and emotional field. Don't try to mentally understand it because you'll probably go insane. <laughs> At least I would. I don't know. Maybe you've got a better brain than I do that can focus and cope with all of that stuff. But my mind just goes a bit, ah, when I try and understand all of that stuff, it's just kind of like, okay, that feels good and that feels right. And, and I'm just going to embody that as my truth. Uh, much easier sometimes. And then you see it unfold in your reality. So tapping on the karate chop point. Oh, if you're not familiar with EFT, which where have you been, then just tap on the points that I tap on and say the words that I say. Even though I don't know how, I choose to know that there are infinite possibilities waiting for me to experience. And I deeply and completely Love and accept all of me. Even though my conscious mind feels limited by what I believe is possible, I'm ready to release all limited perceptions and embrace all possibilities. And I deeply and completely love and accept all of me. Even though I feel limited by my beliefs and what I believe is possible for me, I choose to embrace that anything is possible. I just have to trust and I deeply and completely love and accept who I am and how I feel right now. Okay, tapping through the point starting with the inside of the eye. I feel limited. My experience is that I am limited. My reality feels limited. I keep hearing that anything is possible, but that's not been what I've experienced. My experience is that I'm limited. What I see in my reality is limitation. All this talk about infinite possibilities feels like a load of rubbish because it's not been my experience. My reality does not reflect infinite possibilities. My reality reflects limitation. 
What if my reality is just reflecting my beliefs? What if my beliefs are creating my reality? And I just have limiting beliefs. What if I could release all limitation from my field? And embrace a life without limits. What if I could embrace all possibilities? I choose to relax and allow the possibility that all things are possible. I choose to suspend disbelief for just a few minutes. and expand my field to embrace all possibilities. I choose to fantasize for a few minutes and I allow my imagination to run wild. I give myself permission to fantasize. I give myself permission to imagine a life without limits, a life where all things are possible, just for fun. What if all things are possible? I choose to know all things are possible. I choose to release all limitations from my energetic field. I choose to expand my perceptions to embrace all possibilities. I choose to allow spirit to enable all things to come to me. I choose to partner with the universe to create a life I couldn't possibly imagine. I release all limitation from my field. I release all limiting perceptions from my mind. I expand my mind to embrace new realities. I expand my mind to embrace new possibilities. I give myself permission to dream huge. I give myself permission to release all limitations. I give myself permission to have fun and dream and enjoy the journey as all my dreams come to reality. I release all limitations from my field. I expand my mind beyond my limited perceptions. I embrace new possibilities. I give myself permission to dream huge. I love stepping into the flow of possibilities. I choose to know there is an infinite stream of possibilities. I choose to step into that stream, to step into that flow and allow all things to come to me. Okay, just stop tapping, take a deep breath. Let it out, letting go of all that old energy. Now the deep breath in. Again, breathing out, letting go of all that old energy. 
Awesome. Spectacular. How does that feel? Even if you just embrace for a few minutes your imagination and allow your imagination to run wild and give yourself permission to have fun. This is not serious. You know, so many of us. Okay, so there are some serious things that are unfolding on the planet. But too many of us, most of us, take life way too seriously. What if we were to embrace having fun? Are there consequences to some of our actions? Yes, but as long as you bring a mindfulness and an awareness to the actions that you take, as long as everything that you do comes from a place of higher intention and service and for the highest good of everybody, then you can relax. And sometimes there are unintended consequences from what we do. But it's really important that you give yourself permission to embrace all the possibilities. So with that tapping, what we've done is we've broken up the rigidity around your perceptions about what you believe is possible. We've started to expand your quantum field, your physical field, your emotional field, your mental field to beyond your limited perceptions, your previous limited perceptions. And when you start to get your head into something like quantum physics, oh my God, you just start to see and realize just how little we understand our existence, just how little we understand about our ability to shape and mold and choose and create our future by design. Every single moment, the choices that you make here, the choices that you make in the words that you speak, the choices you make as to what you focus on, the choices you make as to how um, the reality that you are creating is creating your world. You are creating your world second by second, minute by minute, day by day, week by week, month by month, year by year. You are creating your reality. If you do not like what you have chosen, then choose again. And you are in, uh, in the quantum soup with other people as well. So you cannot control what other people we, will do. You can influence the quantum field and attract another tribe of people to you if your current tribe doesn't serve you. You can recreate your quantum field and push certain people out who are not serving you or your highest good or helping you to bring your dreams to life. I'm sorry if you can hear the rain falling on the roof. Can't control that. <laughs> Maybe I can, but I choose not to because we need the rain. So thank you, universe, for the rain because you really need it. So sorry if that's interrupting the broadcast. Hello, Barbie. How are you? Hi, Michelle. So what I'm going to do now is as you listen to the rain, it's perfect actually because I'm now going to help to clear more from your quantum field. So we've broken up. The, the limiting perceptions and beliefs with the EFT. And now I'm going to actually go in and energetically clear your quantum field of those limiting perceptions and beliefs to expand the possibilities and allow more possibilities in. Does that sound good? Give me a hell yes if you like the sound of that in the comments. Okay. Awesome, awesome. All right, let's do this. So I want you to um, close your eyes. And take a deep breath in and just focus on your field, your quantum field, your energetic field, your spiritual field, the field that makes up the larger part of you. So your physical field that you experience life through, that's actually only a small part of you is a much bigger field which makes up the bigger part of who you are. So tune into that. Now I want you to expand your focus to any limiting perceptions that are no longer serving you, any limiting ideas, concepts, anything that is within your field that is no longer serving you. Tune into it. Send it unconditional love or send them. If you've got multiple, 
Send them all unconditional love and acceptance and gratitude. You adopted these limitations for a reason. Those reasons no longer serve you. So acknowledge them. Continue to send them unconditional love. And decide to let them go now. And as you decide to let them go, I will do a process to clear them from your energy field. Continue to send them unconditional love and gratitude and appreciation. And just let them go. Send them lift from your field. Good. Continue to draw those limiting perceptions and beliefs, any limitations within your quantum field, continue to just allow them, give them permission to leave, knowing that you are perfectly safe. Good. Awesome. Continue to allow them to lift. Very good. Just a few more seconds. Till your field is clear of all those limiting perceptions. Good. That feels so much lighter. Awesome. Love it. Okay. Now I want you to imagine your field your field of possibilities, your field of perceptions, your field of um, not beliefs, just possibilities, just your field of possibilities. Now I want you to expand that field of possibilities. I want you to double it. Wherever it is now, I want you to double your field of possibilities. Awesome. Now I want you to double it again. Good. On a count of three, I want you to double it again. <sighs> Sit with that for a minute. Oh, doesn't that feel good? It's almost giddy. Okay, on the count of three, I want you to, oh, I said that before, didn't I? On the count of three, I want you to double it again. One, two, three. <sighs> on the count of three, doubling it again. One, two, three. <sighs> One more time. Count of three, doubling it again. One, two, three. <sighs> Magnificent. And just sit with this massively expansive field of possibilities that you are now allowing into your into your um, perceptions and giving you so many more choices and opportunities and possibilities and you get to choose and if you don't like what you what you chose and you can choose again so taking a deep breath and opening your eyes awesome how does that feel let me know in the comments how that feels do you feel lighter do you feel excited Get excited. Get excited about the possibilities. Get excited about your ability to create anything that you put your mind to. Allow yourself to have fun exploring those possibilities. It's like you have this massive smorgasbord available to you and you get to choose whatever you want. Put something on your plate. If you don't like that, just tip it out. Try something else. And if you like something, try more of that. You have so many possibilities open to you. The only thing that limits you is your perception. 
and your belief systems. So I really hope you've enjoyed this today. I certainly have. I feel so light. Um, and uh, I'll just, if you missed my live on my, on my profile, I just want to quickly explain where this, where the inspiration came from for this today. Um, because, um, oh, and by the way, before I go into that little story, it'll only take a couple of minutes. Um, I have, I'm running another Money Mindset Masterclass for the month of March. So it, it, I got spectacular feedback from the one I ran in February. It is only $97 Australian to spend four 90-minute sessions with me and a group of incredible like-minded people. And we tap, we do energy clearing around any money blocks that you might have and abundance and allowing you to um, really expand your possibilities to be able to invite more money into your life and to be able to create whatever you want to create financially. So if you want to be a part of that, uh, I will quickly put that link into the comments. Uh, Okay, now I've lost. <laughs> now I've lost the live page. Don't you love that? I've got too many. Oh, there we. Are. No, that's not it. Um, I've got too many windows open. Oh, I've lost you again. Bugger. All right, I'll put the link in later. Um, so, um, but what I want to talk to you about is um, what's happening with me and what happened yesterday. And why I was inspired to do this, just to give you an idea of where this could go for you. So uh, for those of you who know that uh, myself and my husband are moving, we're super excited. We're moving a bit further north than we are now. We love Tambourine Mountain and we've loved living here for almost eight years. Uh, but we are ready for a new adventure. So we started looking at properties um, a few months ago. And, um, and what our plan was is because I have the horses and our plan was to just go and buy a house block up there. And we sold this place in a day, would you believe? And we got exactly what we wanted for it. Truly astounding. Um, spirit is so present in this journey right now. So we, um, started looking at properties and then sold this and went, holy crap, we need to find a place. And as we had been looking, this property popped up that we hadn't seen before. So the idea was to buy a house block, live there for about 12 months in the area, find the perfect acreage and the perfect place to move into and then purchase that in 12 months time. So, but this property popped up that was five acres. It's not quite as big as I would like. I, I want about 50, 60 acres, but it's a, pro, a great little property, awesome, beautiful, beautiful location. And we went to have, um, rang the guy, and he said, oh, there's already a contract on that. I'm like, contract on it? God, we haven't even seen this property on the internet. And there's already a contract on it. But for some reason, it just hadn't shown up in our search engine. And then the agent went, oh, but that, that contract that's on it now is subject to the sale of the purchaser's house. So it can't go unconditional until that happens and there's what's called a sunset clause. And a sunset clause means that if somebody else brings in another contract in that time, then the sunset clause is triggered and they have um, five working days to make their contract go unconditional or our contract supersedes that contract, if that makes sense. I hope that's clear. So we signed the contracts. There was a bit of a delay, unfortunately. They had till five o'clock yesterday afternoon to get their contract to go unconditional. So I was baiting, I was just waiting anxiously, nervously all day for five o'clock. I get a call at quarter past four and it's the solicitor. And the solicitor says the first words out of her mouth are, I've got bad news. Oh my God. My heart sank into the pit of my stomach. My husband and I have been talking about this property ever since we saw it almost two weeks ago um, about what we're going to put on the property. So we're going to put um, containers on the property, self-contained containers for some Airbnb, perfect location. Uh, we're going to put all, all these things we're going to do anyway. We're so excited. We had our heart set on it and I was gutted yesterday. But because of a previous conversation I had had that day, don't you love the way spirit works? 
within 20 to 30 minutes, I was starting to turn it around. I was starting to think, okay, that place was never meant for us. Obviously, if it was meant to be for us, we would have had it. But there is obviously something even better waiting. So I decided to start to expand the possibilities and think about what else is possible. If we thought this was good, then what else is possible? There's obviously even something better waiting. And I've been really focusing on expanding my quantum field to embrace new possibilities and think about what do we really want? Was this really the perfect place? And if there was something better, what would that look like? So I'm now focusing on creating and attracting whatever it is that we really want that's even better than the last place. And now I am just super, super excited. I've gone from gutted and devastated to massively excited and super curious as to what's going to show up. And it's got to show up fast. Otherwise, we're going to be homeless in about 30 days when this place settles. But, you know, this is, this is what happens when you expand the quantum field and you invite all possibilities into your life. So I really hope you've enjoyed today. If you want to be a part of the Money Mindset Masterclass for the next four weeks, 97 bucks, and we work together on clearing your stuff, your blocks around abundance and money and all that cool stuff, then um, I'm putting the link in the uh, comments below as soon as I find this window again. And um, I hope you have a spectacular, spectacular day and continue to expand your field, your possibilities and what you believe is possible for you because honestly, absolutely everything really is possible. So now I have to find the window so I can close out this Facebook Live. So um, have a great day, everyone. I look forward to seeing you again soon in another live. Take care and bye for now. I'm going to be hanging around for a bit until I find this window. I really need to get rid of some of the windows on my computer. I have no idea where you are right now. <laughs> there you are. Found you. <laughs> Bye, everyone. <laughs>